Yo, what is going on? Fish gang, fish gang. We're back at it again with another fish tank video. This time we'll be doing a little bit of a checkup on uh, a tank that we've all seen before, Mr. Uh, Pumper Nichols tank. Of course, as everyone knows, uh, everyone's caught up on the fish gang guy lore. Uh, Mr. Pumpernickel is a bed of fish that we currently have. Uh, and also, we have a tank mate in here. We have, uh, and we've got Mr. Davinky in here, which is a, uh, Coriadora. So, let's, uh, let's take a look. Uh, in this video, we're also going to be doing a quick, uh, update and lessons learned from this aquarium. We have, uh, we got Mr. Pumpernickel up there. He likes uh, actually hanging out by the intake. Uh, really likes to just perch up there and look at the rest of the aquarium. Then we have Mr. Davinky back here. Uh, we can't uh, see him right now. He's hiding a little bit. Let's see if we can get him this way. There he is. He's uh, a panda Coriadora, which I've seen actually get a, uh, pretty small in this aquarium. So that's really nice. This is currently a five gallon aquarium. So he fits perfectly in here. All right, so I wanna talk about some lessons learned that we've got from this tank. Uh, the first lesson is probably gonna be, don't ever put a fish tank by a, uh, a window, especially one that gets direct sunlight. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of uh, uh, algae in here that's mainly from all the rays, all the sun's rays, the vitamin D that this aquarium's getting. That is causing a little bit of problem with algae, and that is something that we are constantly battling. We are going to war with algae all the time, uh, which is not, not fun, right? So one thing that you wanna make sure is that while the aquarium is appropriately lit, that it's not getting too much light. Uh, that's gonna really help cut down on all the algae here, all the algae on the glass. But uh, one thing to note is that algae is not necessarily, whoop, algae is not necessarily a bad thing. While it, uh, it looks bad, sort of like uh, one of your distant relatives, they actually still help out during our, all the dishes on Christmas Eve. You know, algae is still there helping clean the tank. It's taken some of the nutrients out of the aquarium. And it is, uh, you know, it's doing its job. It's doing, uh, it's doing what it needs to do, but it just doesn't look good. So, yeah. Another, uh, another tip or lesson that we've learned here is that you definitely should get a bubbler whenever possible. On this aquarium here, it's uh, it's doing pretty good right now. But on the top, there's a typically a thick layer of biofilm. Now that happens when a lot of the oils from the food and some of the waste is unable to fully break down. So we have uh, a layer of oil and grease on top. Now, under normal circumstances, that's going to be A-OK. -okay. That's not going to cause too much of an issue. But... Uh, a bubbler is gonna help make sure we break some of that down and make sure we're getting enough gas exchange with the uh, with the CO2 in the tank here and then some of the fresh air that's up here. So that is definitely gonna be vital when we're doing an aquarium. Yeah, so that was uh, the quick update here for uh, Mr. Pumper Nichols tank. We got, uh, we learned two lessons on this uh, video here, which is really a surprise because as the fish gang guy, I should know everything. So learning something new is uh, a little different for me. It was a little uncomfortable, but we got through it. And then I was able to share my uncomfortableness with you guys. So with that said, thanks so much for watching and let's get to that outro video. All right, guys, we're back at it again. Another outro video here. Uh, I was doing, I was messing around with some of the settings for the camera and everything, and I think we figured out how to do 4K now. 
So we're going to have a uh, pretty good video quality moving forward here. So I'm excited about that. Uh, additionally, we've also tried to uh, create a backlog of videos so that we can, uh, you know, create a weekly upload schedule on, on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So hopefully that uh, turns out for the long term. I don't know how much uh, content we can do with just two fish tanks, but uh, again, like I've said before, I need money, so I'm going to keep trying to make uh, videos about things I'm passionate about. Uh, so without further ado, thanks so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed uh, this video about Mr. Pumpernickel and Dr. DaVinci. Uh, and it's Dr. DaVinci, not Mr. DaVinci. So uh, yeah, yeah, thanks again so much for coming by, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.